Mike, thanks. A new at 4.30, allegations of absentee ballot fraud in Bridgeport, all after video was leaked showing a woman stuffing envelopes into the ballot drop box. A lot of people have a lot of questions now. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live with our mobile newsroom in Bridgeport with what he's learning. Matt. No, look here, there's been some protesters out here, but you can see the ballot box right behind me here at the government center, and then also the camera, the surveillance camera that caught this act. The challenger, John Gomes, claims this election was stolen. The Secretary of the State is actually going to hold a press conference in about an hour addressing the allegations of absentee ballot fraud. Now, the video posted to John Gomes' campaign Facebook page shows a woman whom he claims to be a supporter of Mayor Joe Gannon and a City Hall employee stuffing envelopes into the absentee ballot drop box outside the government center a number of times in the early morning hours of September 5th. Gomes lost last week's Democratic primary to Ganem by just 251 votes. On election night, Gomes had a lead thanks to the in-person voting at the polls, but the absentees, which Ganem won by nearly a two-to-one margin, pushed him over the top. It should be noted, according to the Secretary of the State's office, only a voter, a designee of a voter who has an illness or a disability, or a family member is allowed to mail or put a ballot in a drop box. Hopefully the SEC, along with uh, Governor Lamont and Secretary of the State, will do what needs to be done in order to uh, bring back the integrity every vote that goes into the ballot box, because how do we go forward with a November election to secure that every vote counts fairly? Now, we reached out to Mayor Ganim's campaign a number of times today. They did not get back to us for a request, but uh, Gomes' camp says they are going to be looking into legal action. We'll have that part of the story coming up tonight at 6. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in Bridgeport. Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.